Welcome back everyone to Let's Play Stalker Clear Sky. Where we last left Scar, he was in a bitter, bitter battle with some military commandos who were beating up on some fellow stalkers. Unfortunately, all of those fellow stalkers died. Uh, and so we miss out on a pretty cool reputation bonus. But I did eventually defeat the, uh, the, the, the soldiers. Um, I, I, I did this once again by looting the dead in the middle of combat in order to get supplies. You know, I, I thought it was just a joke before, but I guess it's just the most logical way to play this game. Oh yeah, I could I could try to save my friends or I could try to loot their bodies. So I'm gonna go with loot. Picked up some sweet weapons from those uh from those military types. Go quick, the trader put in a word for you. Oh sweet. I wonder what would have happened if I had not spoken to Sidorovich and I tried to get through here. I don't really know, actually. Anything in the supply wagon for me? Yoink! I just I need it. It's important. I need all this stuff. It's terribly vital for my mission. Being the chosen one and stuff. Ooh, weird. Weird. Hmm. Mutants. Mutants. Military. More mutants. Mutant. Mutant. Here we are. A lot of guys in leather jackets with hunting shotguns. I used to be in your boats, gentlemen. It was a sad, sad hey man, time. Been waiting for you a long time. Go see the leader, Stat. How? I just got here. I ran as fast as I could. Guess it's not fa fast enough. Father Valerian, I assume? Father Valerian. Howdy, Merc. We don't see too much of you at the cordon. What brings you here? From Sidorovich, you say? So, you know about the commander, too? All right, I'll be straight with you. We used to cooperate with the army. They'd allow us to transport goods safely through the outpost and let us in on some useful information. Well, that's nice. We paid well for their services. But then we found out that jerk of a commander worked for both sides. He supplied the bandits with our whereabouts. Then he went and sold two of our guys as slaves at the garbage. That was the last straw. That's pretty miserable. I'd betray them, too. Yeah, I guess we got a little carried away. Can't figure out what to do now. We're holding the commander hostage, which is a kind of guarantee that the army is not going to bomb our asses back to the Stone Age with their choppers. We can't kill him, but we can't let him go either. This sly son of a bitch knows that we need him alive, and he's not caving in a damn inch. Trouble is, he's the only one who knows where the loot is hidden. If we don't deliver that loot to Sidorovich, he won't do business with us ever again. If we could only make this army best and play by our rules, it would be a whole different ball game, believe me. The eponymous loot. I'll head over there and see if I can get this Koletsky to talk. We're gonna I'm work coming, over I'm coming. Sorry if I don't have what you're looking for. Oh, this ammunition is heavy and it's not worth a lot of money. Oh, by the way, we picked up a military med kit from some of those army guys. It's way better than a regular med kit. What can I do for you? If you find some more upgrade parts, get them over here and we'll see what we can do. Probably won't matter much. Oh, he can't. He can't upgrade the armor. I think only clear sky guys can. That's What you staring at? This ain't no zoo. Oh, I think he's one of the only hostile characters who you can talk to. What you staring at, ass face? Oh geez, he seems like a great guy. Laugh all you want. If you're here to find out where I hid the case with the loot, the eponymous you're loot. In for a disappointment. Go back to your beloved zone. My boys are gonna obliterate your pathetic posse soon enough. And as for your ringleader, we will hang him on the bridge so everyone can see what you get for messing with the military. Oh really? Hmm. And how much would you charge for your service? What if I ask you to help out my boys by taking out those snipers at the railroad in Bay? Too expensive for a rat like you. And keep going. Nice. Do you want to upgrade something or patch it up? We got some honor among thieves. 
Alright, I'm finally going to start using this weapon. Now that I've got some bullets for it, and the likelihood of finding other bullets for it is quite high. So, did you learn anything useful? No. Of course they'll save him. The rat bastard owes them a whole bunch of dough. He ran their operations on his own and stashed the cash away somewhere. Listen, I've got an idea. Weird the collection. commander's got only two men he can count on. They served together at the outpost and he cut them in on the deals. So they'll do whatever they can to get him out. If we dispose of them, the bastard will realize nobody's coming for him. He'll crack and we'll beat out of him the location of the stash with the loot. We split the money, and Sidorovich gets the case. What do you say? Sounds I have this feeling we won't have to look for them. Khaletsky's buddies are wandering around here somewhere planning to attack us. A small squad has been spotted at the elevator. Oh jeez. Oh jeez. Getting back in the fight. How much does all this junk weigh? A lot. Oh, most of that shotgun shells. Oh! A stash just popped up. Oh, sweet. He's gonna give me some stuff to give him a hand. Thanks, Father Valerian. You're a cool dude. What do we got? An upgraded gun. I think it's the same gun that I'm using. It's also got the, uh, the upgrades that I'm not partial to, but thanks anyway, buddy. I would much prefer to uh, conserve ammo instead of spinning it. And as such, what I'm going can to pawn I do this for? weapon. Oh, thanks so much for this, this weapon. That obviously means a lot to you. Sold it. I'm gonna dump some shotgun shells in this box to lighten the load. Yeah, three kilograms of shotguns. Shotgun shells. I have this distinct impression I won't need that much ammo. Great thing about a shotgun, it does buckets of damage if you hit with it. If you hit with it. All right, I'm gonna turn, on, turn that off automatic so I don't just spray bullets all over the place. Ooh, looks like they're starting the fun without me. Oh, got caught on a can. What happened? What took you so long? I got caught on a can, okay, guys? Jeez. Uh oh. Save early, save often. There was someone else in there. Gotcha. That's why accuracy is important. The squad has been taken care of. We spotted their second squad at the depot. You can press L to give yourself a headlamp. Really useful for when it gets dark. Unfortunately, it, you know tells everyone where you are. I do mean everyone, especially people you wouldn't want to figure out. Oh no, buddy, you gotta make it. Yeah, I'll go help with that fight in a second. I gotta loot the dead for medical supplies. What were you thinking? Anton Decadent, you, you crazy bastard. Between guts and glory, he chose neither because he's dead now. Don't be a jerk, holster your vet. Jeez. Yeah, when you when guys don't like you, if you try to walk near them with your weapon unholstered, they uh they get a little cranky about it. Understandably. So every weapon has accuracy and flatness. It took me a long time to figure out what that means. Accuracy is where the bullet is going to line up, and flatness is how long it flies. Bullets, please. Thank you. Oh god. Yep, charging him with three bullets. That's what I do. Oh, no, no. 
please stop shooting me in the butt. Oh, I thought there was someone behind me. In the butt! This was not the case! Oh man, normal difficulty, you can just eat bullets. I love it. Oh. You can only eat bullets for so long. No, oh, no, this seal is so good on my digestion. Oh no. <laughs> All right. Uh, maybe I should switch to the shotgun. We are in pretty close range. Maybe I should let the guys who are behind me, who the guys who are supporting me, quote unquote. Maybe I should let them get closer. Cause they're pretty far away. Maybe I should duck down. Oh no, bullet. Looks like I'm gonna have to switch to the shotgun and run out of ammo. Any more bandages? Nope, looks like I'm out. Oh, hey buddy! What the heck was that? Finishing him off. <laughs> Let's throw another auto save, quick save in there. So that we don't just like load in. Get hit with a grenade. Whoa! Oh no, no, no! That was too good! You can't ruin this for me. Oh, he's shooting me through the wood. Clever girl. Oh. Oh, uh, I hate finishing people off like that. That army rat is gonna change his tune now, that's for sure. Merc, head back to the base. Alright, so it says my carrying capacity is only 50 kilograms? That's not entirely true. Did I get any bandages? Not enough bandages. You can actually carry 10 more pounds than that, but as you can see, my stamina meter is going down real, real quick. Sorry, mate. a lot of bullets. It's an awful lot of bullets. Gotta eat food to keep my health up. Probably gonna chuck out the weapons that are in bad condition, or that aren't worth much. 600. Okay, when I sell all that, enough stuff left over to, uh, to upgrade my, uh, my rifle a little bit more, which will be good. Looking for medkits. Jonesing for a medkit. Come on, guys. Don't hold out on me. Yes. Ooh, flash drive. Data on balancing automated parts. I don't exactly understand what that means, but probably going to be worth some cash to the right person, to the right, you know, guy who needs to figure that out. Sweet. There should be some med kits in here. Oh, maybe in this box. Yes. Oh, bandages. Sweet, sweet bandages. Dump this ammo because I'm not too partial toward it. And the bottles of vodka because I've got enough anti-radiation meds. And pick up some more bullets. The boxes of bullets with the black bands around them are armor piercing, so they're, they'll work better against armored targets. Ooh, we got a we got a guide over here. The the the, the guys with little arrow arrows in their okay, icons are guys. Where can you lead me? Southern Farmstead, a thousand rubles. How about the neutral base for sixty? So here's a fun fact: if you ever if you ever want to play this game, it is easier to. What? Are you running? Where Where are you running, buddy? Oh, he's running over to the to the commander. Now that I think about it, I don't remember. There's, like, traveling to swap zones costs way more money than it takes to uh, move within zones. So, oh no, uh, it's if, okay, so let's say I'm traveling 
from the garbage to the swamps. It will be cheaper to me for me to travel from the garbage to here than to the swamps for some reason. Just Sealed how the being stubborn economy gets you. works. Your friends are dead and you're still here. No one's coming to save you. Tell me where you hid the case. Okay, I tell you, bastards. It's at the old mill under the roof. Would you look at that? The little shit cracked like an egg. <laughs> <laughs> the stash coordinates are in your PDA. Take what you find to Sidorovich. He's waiting. Sweet. Hopefully I get a I'm little... I'm coming, I'm coming. A little money for this. Got something for me? Nope. Nice doing business with an honest stalker. Yes, me, honest. Those are two words that definitely belong together in the same sentence. Certainly have not been just looting the dead like mad. Regardless of what faction they are, or whether I'm in the middle of a firefight. 3,000 rubles. Okay. Got something that needs fixing? Um. Chaser 13, aka Chaser 13. Uh, if you need anything else, come by. I wonder who wants this, uh, this flash drive for balancing automatic parts then. Nah, who knows? Alright. What do we got? Low recoil, yes, good. Magazine size, optical scope. You fitting, wanna upgrade something or patch it up? Type. I could go for a larger magazine. I'm listening. Oh wait, I gotta go get the <laughs> I gotta go get the loot first. Holy crap. We have bullets now. How many? Do I really have? Yep, I really have that many bullets. Okay. Sweet. We we have real weapons. If only we had real armor. Yeah, the armor's a little on the uh, not so good side. But I mean, it served us well thus far, I suppose. We could also use some more artifacts. I think it might be high time to go artifact hunting. There's a little anomalous area right over there. Uh, maybe I can buy a new detector while I'm at it. Oh, the possibilities are endless. Um, do I have to climb up this equipment? Or is there another way up? Please tell me there's another way up. Yay! I hate climbing up equipment. Oh, that's weird. Campfires usually mean there's people around. I don't see no people. Let's stick to the shotgun, because I think we're going to get attacked by mutants before we get attacked by uh, other human beings. Shotguns do real good damage to mutants, because mutants... It might come as a shock to you, but mutants don't wear armor. So it doesn't matter how many pellets you spit out all over the place. Thank you. Thank you, medical supply boxes. I don't know who left you behind. Red Cross, don't care. And here it is. Okay, Mark, I'll be waiting for you in the case. How much does this thing weigh? 0.5 kilograms. It's not very heavy at all. Can I open it? Exceptionally valuable to storage. It's a code locked suitcase. Nope. Looks like I can't open it. Crap. Oh well. I just wanted to know what was inside. What's in the box? What is this loot and why is it so important? Nope, going the wrong way. Maybe they have a guide with them. They have a guide that's to speed up everything a lot. Oh, no guides. Never mind. That's a lot of military guys. Jeez. Is there something going on down here? What's up, buddy? Oh! Who are you? So what are you gonna do? What? I see. How can I help you? Okay. 
never done this before. I've never seen this guy. Huh. I have expected me to. Don't shoot! Please don't shoot! Oh jeez, don't spook me like that. I thought you were gonna shoot me in the back. thing about traveling at night it's way easier to see anomalies that being said it's way more difficult to see just about anything else that's trying to kill you especially bloodsuckers but we'll get to those later I didn't know that you could portray the stalkers here I might have to try that sometime and I could work for the bandits later on but I won't do that. Not this time. So, thanks for returning the case, Merc. Now I can settle up with my client. The reason I've survived in the zone as long as I have is that I always keep my word. You screw a client in this place, and you're pretty likely to find a knife in your back. Oh, God, look at his mouth. Anyway, enough about me. About your stalker, he was here. His name is Fang, and he was looking for tube amplifiers and some other electronic crap. I, I beg your pardon? Sort of thing. I sold him the amp, but I didn't have the other stuff he was after, so I told him to visit the diggers at the garbage. Recently, some stalkers at the garbage have dug up old buried equipment from after the accident at the Chernobyl NPP, and now the place is filled with all kinds of ancient components. Ooh. Look for him there. And remember, if you want to trade, I'm your man. If you need anything else, relax. Don't be shy. What brings you here? Ah, uh, he doesn't have a higher rate detector. That sucks. Good luck. Alright, we got on the loot. We know we gotta go to the garbage next. Before that, let's have a little fun. I love you, jellyfish. Just some guys. Spill the beans. Alright. It's a little irradiated, but we should be okay because of the jellyfish. Looks like there aren't any artifacts in here after all. Nothing, uh, nothing going on the detector. Ow! Holy crap, what did that thing do to me? Oh, and I got rid of the vodka. Serves me right. Thanks, jellyfish. Love you. Well, that was... That was all for nothing. Anyway. On that note, I think that'll do it for this episode of Let's Play Stalker Clear Sky. Next time... We head to the garbage. Have a nice day, everyone.